Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, or Source 4 Figure Model Updates, Wednesdays and Fridays. So today I'm showing off the Gorilla Base as it stands. So it's hard to get it all in the shot, but basically where we are is I... The slopes that you saw last time where the foam for planting artificial flowers were covered with a thin layer of carpenter glue that I would thin with water where possible. And then I used... Uh, flock, rocks, things like that. You can still see some of them exposed here. Did that, started applying some of the injection stuff. You can see King Tiger components, uh, Tamiya components. There's some Games Workshop stuff in there, some Industrial Mechanica stuff, these ejection seats. And then from there, I gave the whole thing a solid coat of Army Painter's Rattle Can Red Primer. Uh, the Army Painter stuff is really great for multimedia stuff like the wood to injection to resin all that stuff got covered really well and then from there i began to layer on my second layer so all the exposed injection stuff like all the gray you see anything like that was then applied and i wanted to do that to give to make sure that i got an even coat on some of the stuff that was underneath like you wouldn't have been able to really get a good coat on stuff that's under things like this or especially just in turns like this so once that was applied, we've moved on to doing things like the the surfacer that's on this. This is uh, a Citadel acrylic, I don't know what you call it, it's like a basing grit. Basically it's an acrylic paint that's really thick and it's got some, some uh, texture to it. And it shrinks down once you've applied it. You can see it's still a bit wet in some areas and so it's sort of gloppy, but that'll reduce. It'll reduce a bit, not all the way down, but then I'm going to apply, in some areas, some thick mud from Vallejo. This stuff's really good, but it's it's kind of harsh, so it'll be good for stuff like a bit of, like, taking off some of the, the smoothness from some of the injection components. And then for the earth itself, the ground between the two piles, I'm going to use this Citadel stuff, and this is really good because... When you apply it over in a thin, or you can apply it thickly as well, it actually dries and then cracks as it shrinks, so it looks like baked earth. So basically, this is just where I'm at now. I just wanted to do a quick update, and I'm really excited with the way this is going. The gorilla still does fit here with his feet. I've made sure every step of the way that his, his basing is still proper. So yeah. Basically, that's where we're at. And in the next video, I'll show what my methodology is for applying the the filth, the rust, things like that. I'm going to do some of these components here in probably yellows, uh, construction colors, like their industrial machines, not necessarily like their armored fighting vehicles. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Check us out on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. I will see you guys next time. Bye.